Hello, uh, this is some chalk pastels I got from Christmas from my friend. <laughs> she gave me them. She knows I like them because they have almost uh, no binder in. If you look how soft and squishy they are. They uh, they crumble. <laughs> They're great. I'm drawing in the vague sh shape and colour. As you can see clearly, it's a, a blue cobra and the plane of the galaxy. <laughs> and look, look, it's a starport. Oh, gosh. But you can't tell at the moment because I'm just doing the blobby blobby colours. And then afterwards I'll spend ages tweaking at it to make it look more uh, more like the thing this picture is a screenshot taken by orange phoenix actually for someone who uh, won a raffle prize they uh, made a donation to a charitable event and were thrown into a raffle pot and uh, one of the raffle prizes was <laughs> oh lucky <that. laughs> uh, they got a picture drawn by me and 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 not a t16 <laughs> anyway this is the screenshot they chose it's a blue cobra leaving lave station as you can as you can probably guess, it's a Coriolis, and this is Lave Station. I asked uh, the commander to tell me a little bit about it, actually, which is rather lovely of them. They've given me this information about it. And the picture in their head is that the first feelings they got when they first started playing Elite back in 1984, which makes sense given this is Lave Station, actually. So uh, I'll, read, I'll read what he's written for me, anyway. The feelings of first starting playing Elite back in 1984, but now realised in 2022. The feeling of leaving Lave Station for the first time in my Cobra Mark III. The 2022 version's got the, the paint job, the ship's name emblazoned on its hull, Ad Astra, uh, the Latin for to the stars, literally what I was doing. And the closest I'd ever get to being an astronaut or a Han Solo, treading and smuggling my way across our galaxy. Literally living out a childhood fantasy as a huge Star Wars and Star Trek fan. My ship's serial number is a representation of me, i.e. AM, my name initials, 84 for the year I started playing, and E for Elite. <laughs> the game, the rank, the achievement, something I can now say I've achieved in the original and in the dangerous version. So the picture it, it evokes what he feels about, his feelings about the game. And uh, he, he's dead pleased that he's got a picture, which is quite nice to hear, actually, because I often feel like when it's a raffle, and you think, I mean, guess they, they could have not entered that particular one, to be fair. Anyway, and it was it was really cool that uh, Orange Phoenix did this. It, was a, it wasn't just him streaming, it was a, quite a few people streaming it. A streamer called Deep Blue Beard did quite a lot of the organising, I think, as well. They, they all took turns and took a chunk of it each and would try and build up for each of their segments something, their style of playing Elite and, and what they did uh, and, and what their regular viewers like to see. And... Uh, it, it went down pretty well actually they made quite a bit of cash for this uh, charity the charity was an art charity amazingly it was a company that make uh, digital art images for children who are um, having treatment for cancer and they and they ask the child what, what they want to be and then they make it happen in this image so the children have something to sort of look at and aspire to and feel good about and it's them and it's just a really sweet idea and I've, and it all seemed to have really struck a chord with the streamers and they did they did really well i can't remember how much they made but they did really well they did 24 hours of this which is pretty good anyway so i uh, i get about halfway through my pictures and then i abandon chalk because because i realize i can't do it in chalk <laughs> so i end up doing it in pencil crayon and paint and HB pencil at one point there by the looks of it as well. So yeah, a bit of black and white paint on it to bring out the details and highlights and shadows and whatnot makes it look a little bit better as best I can. But I still whack a lot of black on it. The interesting thing with those chalks is that the black, the pastel black, it's really dark, but it doesn't. It, it, it but it's very, it's very dry and crumbly, and it doesn't stick on the paper as well as I'd like. So I end up using compressed charcoal, which bizarrely isn't actually as dark. I used um, a white pencil crayon for the tiny faraway stars and a big white chalk for the, the more impressive and more chunky stars. There's a few ships in this as well as the Cobra. There's two ships right by the toast rack of, of Lave Station. There's one right in the centre and then there's one at a diagonal just above it. You can't really see that because it's too tiny. And then there's a, a sidey with its little plume of uh, engine trail that's coming out. So I imagine that that Sidewinder's uh, probably a commander because uh, it's got blue engines and that's not something that NPCs have. Anyway, I, I've pretty much done this and uh, so I will once again say thank you very much for sitting through it and looking at it and I really appreciate it. 
and uh, I am happy to do them for whoever asks.